All right, people, I'm back again. It's like the last verse of Isaiah spoke of judgment. Well, the last book of Revelation speak of judgment. Last book of John, it's like all of them speak of judgment. It's like that's the part of the the word of God that most people want to take out that God is a just judge. He's a judge. You understand? It's like people to take okay, when people do something wrong in here and they go to court and they take the punishment. They take whatever some people don't, but some people take what is given to them. Some people feel it was unjust. You know, the thing is, people are going to always feel that way. People don't like to be judged, but the thing is, in this world we live in, we are judged constantly. Everything we do is under a microscope. It don't matter what it is, people. You understand? I think we, I was watching a show yesterday, man. I, I love horror films and I love horror stories. And I think everybody do. You know, but people like to be afraid. Well, fear the Lord. But anyway, in the story, right, it's a house, a hundred house. Everybody who dies in that house stays in that house. So they was talking. I, I can hear the agenda going. Well, there's no heaven or hell, you know, so the ghost, like, this is our heaven. Like, wherever you die, that's where you remain. There's no hell fire. There's no brimstone. There's no heaven. You see the agenda. So you'll have children walking around thinking that after death, it's just, you just turn into a ghost. And the ghosts are living, eating, still can talk on the phone, can open, can be allowed to, on Halloween, walk the earth. You know, that gets that comes from day of the dead. The, the Asians do it. You got to understand why is Halloween like almost an international holiday? <laughs> you got to understand. People believe that the ghosts, or their, fall, their ancestor spirits can walk the earth on Halloween. That's why a lot of pagans do their practices around that time. Necromancy. You know, but it's right there. They'll tell you, the world will tell you so many ways to get to hell. And won't tell you the one way to get to Jesus. All the time you hear Jesus in a movie or a show lately, it's like when somebody gets scared, oh, Jesus Christ. Mary, Mother, and Jesus. What? What? That's it. As far as how Christ wants us to be, that's irrelevant. It's always something homosexual. Always something gay. And I'm like, wow, man. Like, regular relationships don't even exist no more in television. It's weird that I talked about this about three years, about two years ago, how TV is going to get so horrible. You can't even watch it. You know, like I just want to see a good movie one time when the Exorcist is doing right by the Lord and actually wins. You ever notice how movies, the Exorcist, the Man of God, always loses? Wow, it's like they they show you that no use to trust in God. The devil wins. Well, keep thinking that people, the devil loses. He may be winning now, but he ain't winning now. But you understand, he may be ruler of this world right now. He may have a lot of power. He may even got him a own TV show by the name of Lucifer. Got a own TV show. You understand? Wow. That's amazing. And the world embraces it. And they look at that. They, like, they start feeling compassion for the enemy. Let me tell you something, people. That's not how the devil is. Anybody that's willing to trick you from the blessing that the Lord has for you in order to go against him can't be good. Anybody that uses trickery, it can't be good. Take my servant Job, Satan. Let me let me attack him. See how see how he stand his ground with you. That's what that's what that's what y'all like. Y'all want that person to rule over you? Well, it's okay if you're children of the devil. That's okay. You're going to live with them too. You understand? I know what people want to wear. How do we know which one is the real God? Ask. Seek. And you shall find. According to my Bible, there are no other gods. 
And the thing is that the Muslim faith is so close and similar to our faith. It's ridiculous. They got one God too. They believe in one God. But the thing they miss is that we don't, that they don't believe in the Son. You see? Even Muslims are being tricked by the devil. It's one God. And Muhammad is his messenger. Wow. You know what they say about the, the Quran? The Holy Bible was the first testament. And the Quran is the final. You see, look how manipulative that is. But then these same Muslims are bad mouthed the Holy Bible. Because we believe in Christ. But the, even the people who study the Quran study the Bible too. Ain't that weird? If it's so horrible of a book, they encourage to study the Holy Bible. Hmm. If they don't sound deceptive to you, they don't sound manipulative. They don't. They don't want to. They don't want to admit it. Yeah, we admit that uh, Christ was a, Jesus was a, a great prophet, a great man of God. Jesus was a Muslim, according to them. But he was not the son of God. It's, you, do you understand people? That's kind of crazy, ain't it? So you know Christ lived. You Christ rose. That's the part they don't want to believe, that he rose from the dead. And like, I can't even, look, man, I'm going to tell you how the, the world is so manipulative. I love watching shorts videos when I ain't got nothing to time. Some funny videos and stuff like that. And some of God that pop up on my screen. And lately, you know what the devil been pushing at me? The Muslim faith. Constantly. This is how Muslims live. I don't care how Muslims live. Show me how Christians live. Like when I was watching a, I was watching a video, they said, uh, have your husband ever seen your hair? And she said, No. He's never seen, and we have three kids. That sounds so ignorant. That's your religion? That you can't even see your wife? You can't even see your wife's nakedness? You can't even see how her hair really looks? Just that right there is stupid. I don't care. You can get mad at me all you want. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. You understand? For real, though. There's a lot of things that they showcase. They might not eat certain meats. They so don't. But they don't believe in the same God. Have a form of good to godliness, but the nine to one thereof. You know, that's the devil. He's very manipulative. And a lot of people are converting to Islam or to Muslim. It's amazing. I even hear people talk sometimes like, whatever God you pray to, pray to him in the morning. Ooh, Lord have mercy. You know, I don't agree with that. You know, I even talk to non Christian. I'd be like, you need to pray. I pray. If you're not praying to the same person, it's irrelevant to me. You understand? And to my belief system. You remember when Paul converted a lot of people in the Romans and they still trying to worship Diana? They still trying to worship some of the Greek gods and goddesses. And Paul almost had a stroke. Like, what is this? We need to build a, a statue to somebody. I don't understand, man. Then I try to th then I start reading the Bible. I do understand. God said He's gonna give them strong delusion that they shall believe lies. So let's put it this way: If you're a Christian, you need to pray that your mind stays steady in Christ, that you don't become delusional. Delusional That's what he's basically that He makes them delusional Make them believe falsehood All the other religions All the people who don't believe in Christ And the one true God They are all delusional According to my word That's what I'm starting calling them Delusional And guess who gave them that way Who let them get that way The Lord it's like, he said, as a soul man thinketh, so shall it be. 
you know, you can make up a new God in your mind and begin worshiping it and make you a creator of the whole new way of life. And God will let you. But God is merciful. Now, if he force you to stop, then you'll be like, God is not, God is not the God. Sometimes I wish. I don't believe in wishes. Sometimes I just, not wish, what's the word? I like how the Old Testament was. Like when God just showed his power out of nowhere. You know, but I know why he stopped. Because people weren't paying attention. It's like, no matter how many signs and wonders I show you, y'all going to do what y'all want to do. So I guess what? No more signs and wonders. The only signs y'all going to start seeing when the end times come. And when Jesus come back, there's going to be your signs and wonders. When you realize that Christ is real, it's going to be too late. Because y'all didn't take heed. A lot of y'all are living in delusional lives. Lord Jesus, I ask you to touch everybody at the sound of my voice today, Lord. Help them find their way back to Christ. If I'm slipping in any kind of way, help me find my way back to Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.